Taylor, your frugal tech. Um, some of my subscribers have noticed uh, that at one time or another on this machine here, which is my main workstation, that they've seen uh, they've seen Vista, then they've seen Windows 7, then they've seen Vista again. Now there's Windows 7 running on it. And so that kind of prompted me to want to talk a little bit about Windows 7. So I call this video my short Windows 7 uh, release candidate review. I got to tell you, um, I'm a business guy, and my videos tend to focus on small business technology, what makes money, what saves money, what's good, what's not so good. And uh, I look at an operating system through those eyes, uh, using it in a business. So in all fairness, I don't use the media center functions of the operating system. I don't game on the machine. Um, I run a company. And I use, uh, right now I'm using Windows 7, the release candidate, in order to run my business. And I'm very, very comfortable with it. And, uh, but there are some pros and cons to everything. So I look at the value proposition of the operating system. Um, I didn't feel it was fair really to do a review of the Windows 7 beta. Um, and I thought long and hard before I even was going to really mention anything about Windows 7 release candidate to you. But I, you know, really in all fairness, it is a feature complete operating system. I've been using it every way for uh, every day for the last several weeks, and it's been absolutely a joy to work with. I'll kind of explain what happened with my machine back here to the YouTubers that's asked these questions. Well, we we uh, we had a motherboard die on it, and uh, we had to replace a hard drive. So. Uh, at that time, I just grabbed a copy of the Vista Ultimate 32-bit, put it on there. It's only got three gigabytes of memory. Um, and then knowing that the, re the release candidate of Windows 7 is coming out, so then we went ahead, and when that was released, we installed it on this machine. So that clears up uh, that mystery. I couldn't wait to get rid of Vista. And in the business world, I use uh, the applications I use every day is uh, Microsoft Office 2007. Uh, I use Microsoft Accounting Professional, uh, a, program, a product called Evernote, which is a totally awesome note-taking application. I use Microsoft CRM. I use Quicken. Uh, uh, so I use a combination of uh, software and do my thing. I have to have a lot of different applications running. And one of the things that Vista would do, it drove me just bonkers when I tried to email a client an invoice. Uh, the title bar of Microsoft Outlook would I'd get that I call it the blue uh, the spinning hamster wheel, but it's the wait thing. And uh, then eventually the title bar would say Outlook's not responding, and then eventually come back and work and send the email. And this was after Service Pack one. This is keeping it past and all that. Um, don't know, don't have Vista running on anything right now, so I don't know if that problem would be resolved with uh, SP2. Uh, the machine itself, the specs, uh, you know. Hey, if this was a gun and I was taking it to a gun dealer, they would swear I was bringing them in a musket, probably. It's the, uh, it's the older machine. It's an HP A1450N. It's got the Athlon 64X2 chip, 2.2 uh, gigahertz uh, processor. Uh, it's got 3 gigabytes of RAM and 250 uh, gigabyte uh, SATA hard drive. That's what it's got. The only additional piece of hardware is Logitech uh, 9000 Pro uh, series webcam. Okay, so all that disclaimer business is out of the way. Uh, that machine, by the way, originally uh, shipped with uh, Windows Media Center Edition, which is a super set of Windows XP Professional. So I figured out how to join it to my Windows uh, Small Business Server 2003 domain. Okay. Uh, as I said, I'm not a gamer. I'm not a programmer or developer. Um, it's not what I do. Um, okay, so let's talk about Windows 7 release candidate. First off, I want to say it installed very fast. It only took about 20 minutes to get it installed. So it did an excellent job of detecting the hardware. By the way, I had to do a clean install uh, because uh, um, I had a, a lot of problems with the, uh, the upgrade uh, uh, from uh, Vista to uh, Win 7 uh, release candidate. Uh, so. You know, I just, I'm more in favor of a clean install anyway, so um, that being said, I'm sorry, not the release candidate, or as I said earlier, I meant the, the beta, so I'm just, I'm a clean fan of a, of a clean install, I'm a big fan of that, uh, but it did a great job of detecting the hardware, and it was really easy to join the domain, because um, uh, with small business server, you just basically have to, once you establish the client computer, 
you just go to your uh, Internet Explorer browser, type in uh, the, the the main server and then the Connect computer, and you know it joined it right to the main, which was very very pleasant. Uh, it boots very very quickly as compared to Vista, no doubt about it. Uh, also, the networking, moving, copying files, network shares, and all that seems to be more fluid, a little bit quicker, a little bit snap, more snap to that. The UAC has been improved because now you can go to the action, what's called the Action Center in Windows 7, and that's kind of a central repository for uh, uh, secure, dealing with security issues with your computer, dealing with uh, uh, troubleshooting with your computer that you can access the UAC there. And now you can uh, set an option whether to you know, dim the screen. So it gets out of your way uh, a lot more nicely. Um, really, I think one of the major improvements to me in productivity is the new Windows taskbar. There's been some talk, it's like the OS X dock, and I think there is a fair argument to be made there. I personally happen to prefer that to the OS X dock. Uh, it's a lot easier to see uh, the here, right back here, the open applications running on the uh, uh, on the taskbar because there, there's like a like a clear frame around that, and so I kind of find it easier to work with in the OS 10 doc. I actually like that. Um, another thing I like is what's called jump lists. I tend to work with a lot of documents to so minimize. Uh, you know, if I don't have Word running, I just right click on the Word icon and I can see a list of my most recently used uh, doc access documents. Click that and I'm, I'm right in business. So I like that really well.